Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm going to show you guys how to measure plans digitally uh, on a PDF to quote construction jobs. Um, I typically do this type of measurement for my landscape jobs and it helps me uh, save a lot of time and become way more accurate than other means that I've found. So um, let's dive in. I will open up the file. I got an example site plan here. Typically within landscaping, I ask for a site plan, but this will work on pretty much any PDF. Uh, we'll open this. Oh, actually, let me click out. I will right click on this and I will say open with Adobe Acrobat. Um, Adobe does have a paid program called Adobe Acrobat Pro and I do have that on my other computer because it allows me to edit PDFs in a few different fashions, but the free Adobe Acrobat Reader will, uh, will, will work. Either one of these will work just fine. So we'll open with Adobe Acrobat. Okay, here's our plan. I scribbled this out so you couldn't see the client's address. Um, but let's dive in. Uh, we'll zoom in a little bit. You can see on this site plan it says clearly one inch is 10 feet. So most plans will have some sort of legend here. Um, it won't be here always. It could be at the bottom. It could be at the right hand side. Uh, but for now, we know that one inch on this plan, on this PDF, equals 10 feet. Um, where we'll go is we will go over here. Hold up. Scroll down and there's a button over here that says more tools. I believe you can also go oh, to this tab right here too called tools. Um, but just for simplicity's sake, let's say we start here. We can go over to more tools. And if you scroll down, there's a measurement tool. It says measure. So now we have this new bar that has come up and allows us to um, have some options here. I'm going to click on measuring tool and it brings up these little, little snaps. So uh, you can do a few different measurements uh, with this distance tool. Uh, this one is called the distance tool. That'll measure something straight across, like left to right, up to down, any way, any angle from there. That's measuring pretty much one distance uh, on this plan. Uh, this one is called the perimeter tool. And just like the name suggests, it allows you to measure all the way around a perimeter of something. Um, it could be the house, it could be the yard, it could be a wall, whatever it may be. And then this area tool basically lets you click an entire perimeter of an area and you know the square footage in between all those points that you've clicked upon. So uh, for now, I'm going to leave it on this distance tool. And as it stands now, default with this program, one inch equals one foot. So we're going to right click on our mouse and say change scale ratio and precision. We don't want to change this one inch because our plan is in inches, but we can change this to be 10 feet just like the plan suggests. And then we'll go in here and put foot and click OK. I'm going to zoom in. The best way to do this is some plans underneath this legend has a little uh, divider that shows you uh, basically inches and the measurement next to the inches. But for this one doesn't have it, so I'm going to use the closest reference. This says plus or minus 15 foot 2 inches. So I'm going to click on this corner. You can see the program automatically detects corners. And we're going to click all the way across to this one and click. So we've labeled it, we've marked in that, that distance, and we're going to drag the mouse to the desired area to, to kind of get our measurement out of the way so we can still see what we're measuring. Uh, you can go downward, you can go upward. I'm going to go up here, and we're going to click again. And you can see our plan is pretty much set to scale. So. 15.13 uh, and 15 foot 2 inches, that checks out. I'm going to click on this and hit delete. Now let's zoom out just a little bit. For instance, let's say I want to know the square footage of this extended patio. I can go over here, click this area tool, click on each, uh, I should zoom in more, Click on each little corner, just a little bit by bit. It doesn't have to be exact, just exact as you want it to get.
almost there. Oh, computer's running a bit slow. I don't know why the plan freaked out on me. Here we go again. So we're gonna go here, here, and then all the way up to here. And once you see that circle, that shows it's a completion. So we're gonna click on there. And it automatically says 385.81 square feet. Pretty cool. Um, now we know the square footage of that thing in real time. So, or in real life. If you wanna change your scale ratio, um, if you right click, sometimes the scale ratio doesn't change and you have to click out of it and click a different one to get back in here to change the scale ratio. Um, for instance, let's see the perimeter of this patio. Let's say you were going to pour this patio and you wanted to know how many inches of, or how many feet of uh, two by fours to make forms with, you could do that or um, many other things that could come in handy in the construction industry. So you can automatically see it's already giving us a total of, this, of the line feet as the perimeter. So once I click on this, we're going to see it's 154 feet. It's a nice big patio. So that's how we do it. That'll allow you to measure pretty much anything you want. I hope this video helps you a lot. If you have any questions, let me know. You can also notate and save these measurements and print them out large scale. So uh, there's lots of cool things that this free Adobe program will do, but this will help get you uh, to where you can measure landscape plans. A lot of uh, a lot of new homes will have a plan you can measure from, and uh, a lot of plan a lot of jobs that people provide you in the commercial industry will already have plans ready, so you can quote them this way. Hope it helps a ton. Please uh, please don't forget to subscribe. And check out my website for personal coaching on your construction business. I think I could be the one to help you. And I think over the years, over 17 years, I've had a lot of success that you could learn from. So we'll see you in there.